hello everyone welcome to the new video for the dsat this video is linked to the previous video for the making how to make a soil file so i have shown you how to make how to enter manually data for your available soil file in case if you don't have any soil file avail available with you you can do one more thing that you can go to the <coughs> uh, you can go to the website or the dsat.net so you can go to the dset website here and write soil matter data for the dset and you have to click on this option a new global high resolution soil profile databases so in this way you can read here the description that database was developed by using the isrc soil grids so in one with the one kilometer resolution to two uh, ten kilometer resolution across all crop uh, cropland across areas globally so six soil properties bulk density organic carbon percentage of clay and cell soil ph and can X were directly used as the dset inputs so you can hear the description here and by going to this website by by going to the harvard database you can just go to and use your own you can find out your own area according to the latitude and latitude, uh, longitude your website so what we are going to do is click on this link it will take to a new page for the dataverse harvard.edu here you can also read the full description here that these are the soil grades with one kilometer so and what they include soil sand a percentage of clay and cell soil ph cation exchange capacity bulk density and organic carbon so then you have to go and download this thing so and there you will see the four options here so you can click on soil grids for dsat and click on it will continue to download here if you click here this will show you the public access download option zip are which if you click here it will automatically download so let's go where it is downloaded i will show you my downloads so this will be the in download folder you will see this folder when it is downloaded so now let's pause if i talk about the us you have to go to the us us uh, file with the soil file so you can go here so here you can see if you open this file Now we'll show you how to add these values into your soil profile and you can see that in the dset so rather by entering manually you can do one more of one more thing by simply copying it and pasting it into the soil dot soil folder so you have to see which coordinates you are looking at let's say i will copy this one here and then i will go to my C drive D set soil you have to open the soil dot as well just go at the end click here make one extra space here and then just paste it so now you have a new soil profile already built in without entering manually here so just click here file save so then we will open the dset and then again we have to follow this those two steps update all lst files and then one more thing i have to show you in the code section you can see soil.cde these are the various codes that represents what which thing is this for example if you look at here for example you want to look what does the scom means so when you go here scom means color moist nonsal who and let's see if you want to slcl so you will see here SLCL means clay percentage 
so let's see let's go to here open any experiment then refresh it first we have to refresh and from the update all LST file then open the experiment and then again we have to refresh it then we can go to fields and we rem this is your code us0106 so you will just find out for us your relative code here also uh, that code we will represent here so you have to look for yours by this option USA so we know that this is the I ISRIC we can look it here So here you can see your already ISRIC soil grid plus SC27. You have to remember use this soil.sol. Similarly, in the same way, you have created this one, the sandy clay loom. You can also find it here. So this one is your file. I'm sorry, this one. This one, yeah, this one. Sandy clay loam soil, um, Omaria village 03 That was uh, just a dummy profile soil may I made. So in this way, you have to find for this name that you have given. This is your profile name, country, this prof sandy loam, and this ISRIC. By this name, you can find it in the field options. Go to field, soil, and then you can find it here. So thank you so much and if you have any questions and any error please comment in the comment section and we will try to answer your uh, inquiries. Thank you so much for watching this video.